Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Bub's Bushcraft. I'm just getting back from a little short hike down the creek that runs back here on the back side of my property. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, figured it'd be a good time for a, a quick brew and try out some new homemade kit. So, uh, I don't know if y'all seen it or not, but uh, there's a new grill top canteen stove from a canteen shop. It's pretty neat looking. Uh, you can go to their website and check it out, but uh, it's a bit too pricey for me. It's 20 bucks. I'm sure it's a good kit, and uh, it's probably well worth the money, but 20 bucks is a bit pricey to spend on a canteen stove. So, keeping in spirit with my do-it-yourself attitude, I, uh, I threw one together myself. Let's see how this is going to work today. Got our GI canteen here, and our uh, GI cup, canteen cup, and down here in the bottom we have this little bad boy. It's my little Altoids alcohol stove. We'll look at that in a minute. Get a little closer up here. This is my do-it-yourself version of the canteen cup grill top stove. It's not the prettiest thing. But this right here is just a prototype. Uh, on the original canteen cup stove, it's got holes in the top instead of slots. And there's four little nodules that uh, stick up to hold your canteen cup off the grill top there. Well, I made a prototype with the little nodules here, 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 and here. And uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it because if I tried to use something other than the canteen cup, like my old blue camping cup here, or my GSI cup, those nodules would get in the way and it would always sit wonky and be unstable. So I opted not to put them into this one. Uh, just a flat grill top here, but to uh, get the flame action going, I put these little side vents here up just a hair higher than they are on the original canteen grill top stove. And as you notice, none of my slots are rounded. They're all squared off. And you may be wondering why I done that. Well, I done that because this stainless steel is pretty thick and it's a pain in the butt to drill through, especially with limited tools and just a regular hand drill and uh, when I do little projects like this I, I try to do it where uh, most everyone has the tools or can get the tools available to them and you know so no big drill presses or anything like that so basically all I done was uh, I measured out where I wanted my slots and marked them you notice on mine I've got two extra side vents here. i done that just basically to lighten it up a bit. Um, I don't know if it'll hinder the performance or not, but um, we'll, uh, we'll find out. Basically I just measured out all my marks here and cut them out <clears throat> with a metal cutting wheel on my Dremel. It took me maybe 15 minutes total. I went through a few uh, cutting wheels. I'd say I went through about five on this entire thing here. This uh, steel's pretty thick and it kind of eats those little blades up, but hopefully it'll be well worth it. I mean, it's a sturdy stove. You know, it's not like those little cheap Chinese imitation stoves or anything. Uh, basically, I can get these canteen cups at my local look. Uh, uh, salvage shop, uh, military salvage store for uh, two bucks. Two bucks for these. Uh, the, this, the canteen cup stove, grill top stove from the shop is twenty bucks. Two bucks compared to twenty bucks. So, yeah, I'm a cheapskate. I went with the two buck <laughs> canteen cup and a Dremel. And I came up with this bad boy. Uh, 
basically all I done was I dremeled out the handle here. I had to pry these handles off. That was kind of a pain in the butt, but they do come off. And it made uh, dremeling this out around here a lot easier. And then I just dremeled out my holes. And uh, it nests right in there very nicely. You see there's a little gap here at the bottom. But uh, that doesn't go to waste because I put my little Altoids alcohol stove. You could also use one of those Snus alcohol stoves. This is just basically an Altoids tin. I've stuffed some insulation down in. House insulation. And uh, covered with a aluminum screening. No big deal. It fits right down in the bottom of my canteen stove here perfectly takes up all that extra space that might be wasted down there in the canteen cup slides right on top waste not want not everything's perfect and it all fits right here in my standard military issue canteen cover it's not even molly it's, it's old alice so you know a molly canteen cover would definitely Fit this I mean it, you'd have oodles of room left over so we're basically going to uh, get our little alcohol stove started up here using their canteen stove grill top homemade canteen cup grill top stove and uh, brew up a cup of coffee and we're not going to do cowboy coffee today I'm going to show you guys how to do a slow drip coffee out here in the woods because that seems to be a big issue with a lot of people. People love their coffee, but uh, not everyone likes instant coffee. I, for one, do not like instant coffee. That is some malarkey right there. I have not had one instant coffee that I've liked. I mean, everyone says, oh, the, the Starbucks Via shots are great. If you like instant coffee, they're great, because they still taste like instant coffee to me, but that's just my opinion. If, if that works for you guys out there, great. And, uh, you know, then there's the people that like the cowboy coffee. A lot of people don't like the grounds in their teeth when they drink it. Well, I'm going to show you how to do some slow drip coffee out here on the trail. And so you'll have no grounds in your mouth. You'll have uh, no nasty instant coffee tasting stuff. Uh, it's going to be g real genuine coffee, slow dripped, right here on the trail on my DIY grill top canteen stove and my alcohol Altoids tin stove. So uh, let's get set up here and readjust the camera and we'll get started. Alright guys, we just got set up here. Um, I cleared a little area out right here where I'm at. There's a, a lot of debris on the forest floor and whatnot and I don't want to start any forest fires, especially this close to my own home. Uh, you don't want to start a forest fire anywhere. It, so, always good to be air on the side of safety. We got our Altoids can stove here. Alcohol stove. Set it right there on their little base. You're going to need a couple of extra things to do the slow drip coffee out here. And uh, besides their alcohol stove and their nifty little DIY grill top canteen cup stove. You don't have to use this stove. You can use whatever system you're already using. I'm just testing this sucker out, see if I like it or not. Um, hopefully it'll be a dual stove type use. I can use it with the alcohol. Um, I'm going to make a, a lid for it here to go on the bottom. That way I can use it as a small hobo stove, wood burning stove. Of course you can burn esbit or uh, hexamine tablets or whatever else in here too. So we'll have our stove there set up like so. And uh, you're going to need two, uh, two drinking utensils, one to boil your water in and one to actually drink out of. This is my coffee I got here in a Ziploc bag, freshly ground this morning. No instant, no pre-bagged crap. Honest to God, true brew coffee. Uh, got my little silverware kit here just for the spoon. For stirring and whatnot, you're going to need 
a funnel. I'm just using this little plastic cheap plastic funnel that I grabbed out of the kitchen for today. But uh, as soon as I can find some of those aluminum beer bottles, I'm going to use one of them because they've got the long thin neck and I'm going to cut it off and uh, make a nice little um, aluminum funnel to go in the pack there. You're also going to need a average dun 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 this is the secret ingredient here guys paper coffee filter just like you would use in your coffee machine at home now what we're going to do with this sucker is we're going to take our funnel and we're going to put it right there in our funnel that's it guys there you go there's your slow drip machine right there uh, you just scoop your coffee out in here hold it over your cup that you're going to be drinking out of the other cup will have your boiling water you hold it right over there like so and pour your hot water over the coffee grounds and let it slow drip into your cup couldn't be easier so let's uh go ahead and get started here we're going to uh, get our cup of water got a cup of water there ready to go we got our um, little bottle of alcohol going to squirt a few drops here in our stove about an ounce I find an ounce gives me about 10 minutes burn time that's a uh, usually more than enough to uh, get a couple of cups of water boiling This little bottle here holds two ounces, so when it's half empty, I know I've got exactly one ounce in there. That might be just a hair bit more, but it'll be fine. Light up our stove. And there it goes. I know it's kind of hard to see that, but it is going. Take our DIY real top canteen stove. Set right over the top there. Watching your hands, of course. And then we're going to uh, take our cup of water. Set it right on top. And there you go. That's done. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and let it boil up. And we'll get back with you. Okay, guys. Air water's just about to a rolling boil here. Um, it's been about five or six minutes. Uh, not bad for it to be uh, two cups of water on an open uh, alcohol stove there. And no real windscreen, so to speak of. Just the do-it-yourself grill top canteen stove. All in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this right now. Um, I'd like to see how it operates with some esbit and maybe some hexamine tablets and once I get the lid made I'm, I'm really anxious to see how it works as a wood burning stove but while this is go ahead and gets finish up boiling here uh, we're going to go ahead and prep our coffee now they say for a good cup of coffee you use one tablespoon per cup of coffee you're making this right here is a little over a teaspoon so I'm going to say maybe one and a half of these will uh, be a tablespoon so that means I will need three tablespoons or yeah, three of these spoonfuls for my two cups of coffee one two and three 
I like my coffee a little bit stronger than most, so I'm going to go ahead and toss in an extra scoop just for good measure. And there we go. Toss that over here to the side. And there we go, our water is boiling. So, going to go ahead and get our gloves on here because you don't want to. Yeah, it's a little warm. So, I'm going to go ahead and put gloves on just to be on the safe side. It's not too hot to touch, but I don't want to be holding it for that long of time. Now, only thing you gotta do is you gotta hold the uh, funnel here in one hand above your cup like so. Take your boiling water off and pour it in your funnel. Let it work its way down. As the water works its way down, add some more. And there you go, guys. Easy to clean up. Go ahead and set that right over there. And there we go. Two cups of slow drip, fresh brewed coffee out here on the trail. Alright guys. Well, as far as my do-it-yourself grill top canteen cup stove goes, I'm pretty happy with it. It, uh, didn't increase the boil time any on my two cups of water. It worked out really well. Actually, it heated up nice and quick and it cooled down nice and quick. So it's a it's definitely a useful piece of kit in my mind, and I'm going to be tossing it in my pack along with my other my canteen cup and canteen and be keeping it with me most every time I go out now. So uh, yeah, don't yeah. Uh, Go ahead and throw yourself together one of these. Uh, it was really inexpensive, two dollars, and maybe another three for the uh, Dremel metal cutting blades. So what's that? Five dollars total, and uh, it's a good piece of kit, guys. I'm happy with it. Now my coffee's cooled down a bit and I can drink it. Ah, here it is. Now, of course, you can add some creamer or sugar or however you like it. Uh, I like mine straight, just straight black. That's how I like it. So, uh, yeah, that's how to make a slow drip cup of brew while you're out on the trail. No instant coffee, no nasty grounds in your cup to get stuck in your teeth. So here's to you guys. Cheers. Oh man, that's good coffee. That's some gourmet coffee right there. Right here on the trail in the beautiful outdoors. Alright guys, thanks for watching another episode of Bub's Bushcraft. Hope to see you again soon. Y'all take care. Man, is that good.